All right, welcome back to Yev's Build. We're here with another video. Today we're gonna to be installing these um, pretty dope roof racks for this uh, 2018 Tacoma right behind us. These are pretty dope because this is what you can do. So pretty much they're, they're folded up like this, right? They're folded up to avoid wind noise. Then you remove them whenever you do need to use them and boom, it clips into the other side of the roof rack. And you could, you could haul stuff, man. It's pretty dope, so let's get to it, all right? So first off, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna remove the weather strips from both sides. Clean up this area, there's gonna be a few tapes, there's gonna be a few duct tape areas stocked from the factory. You remove those and you just clean up this entire area, okay? Do that to both sides and get moving. Just like that, man. Remove it. Maybe a few of these sticky tapes. Boom. Keep these in case you're gonna wanna put them back, so don't throw them away. And now, you're gonna wanna remove all this tape, right, and clean up this entire area. So the left and right are different from one another, obviously. The way you can tell which one's left and which one's right is that when this is the front area, so the back, regardless, has this uh, 3M tape, right, this weathering strip on it. The front is kind of tapered in, but also the front that's on the outside of the, the car. In this case, this is the right side. This has a more flat surface than the inner side of it, right? And that's how you can tell. So this kit also comes with a bunch of hardware, right? There's a bunch of these little ones and a few of the longer ones. They all need to have rubber washers on them. First things first, these brackets. They come, there's only two of them, and they go on the front. Also, you can tell which one's left and which one's right. There you go. In this case, it's the right one. All right, these brackets need to be facing this way. Towards the back. Bolt them on, like so. And then make sure all these holes align as well. So you gotta bolt it on to the roof. See, so it's poking out a little bit, but we think after you bolt it down, should be going down, actually. For you to bolt it down, actually, you gotta move this strap, this bar, aside, so you can get through the corners the bolts. Take the long screw that you got, bolt it down. Make sure these align as well. So don't tighten them all the way until they're all done. So after you tighten up all these, there's a couple bolts on this side, one in the middle, two on the sides. You're gonna have to actually loosen up this little guy right here. It's gonna make it a lot easier because these two bolts on the sides, you gotta move them out of the way to uh, tighten them. Something like that, put it back in, and it's done. Do the same on the other side. If the holes aren't aligned, you gotta finesse with that bracket a little bit. Go down or from side to side. That's the only way you'll make all these holes align. Cause this, is, um, this isn't an OEM roof rack. Keep that in mind, you're gonna have some problems with this. So after it's all bolted down tight, there's a 3M tape. It's part of the liner, the weather strip. it properly just like that nice and smooth there you go that's pretty much it man see these pop up you can remove them put it back into that if you don't want wood noise if you got something to carry then lock this up and you're good to go pretty simple install but that's it that's all it takes a few extra hours in your in your day and you're good all right, peace.